welcome you and thank you for joining us for our economic power panel webinar this morning. Uh, we hope, certainly hope you and your families and your colleagues are all healthy and safe and adjusting to the ever-changing environment that we have around us. First of all, we have to try to define what it is and the answer is that we cannot define it. You know, when you have a negative GDP at 40%, then you know that it's not something that we can define. What is it? Is it a recession? Is it a depression? Because we know one thing. This crisis has an end game. This end game, of course, is a vaccine. So what we do now, governments, central banks, banks, corporations, individuals, what we are doing now, we are basically buying time until we reach that point. And by the way, these unemployment rates that we they're talking about, they're understating the true amount of unemployment because StatCan's having a difficult time classifying people into, well, are you in the labor force or you're not? Because they don't meet the standard definition that they're, they've been laid off, but they're not actively looking for work. So they're considered out of the labor force. So an unemployment rate in Canada at 13 is more like 20 right now. So it just shows you how unusual, underscores how unusual these times are. If two years from now, the government, uh, the Bank of Canada will continue to print, then we have an issue, but I don't think that will be the case. So I'm not losing sleep over inflation anytime soon. In fact, the opposite is the case. The risk at this point is disinflation, deflation. Zero is, is, a, is a number that resonates in my head uh, for rates. I mean, we don't expect interest rates to go anywhere anytime soon. We're looking at midway through 2022, uh, effectively rates at the lower bound. There's a risk of negative rates uh, in Canada, but uh, something that the Bank of Canada doesn't consider a tool presently. So I wouldn't expect it's going to happen in the very near term. And then it, it just depends on uh, how, uh, you know, how the economy performs going forward. Well, I think very near term prices or property values are probably not going to change that much. But beyond that, though, I do expect that some imbalances are going to show up. But we do expect, I think, our current base case is you now peak to trough price declines in the RPS uh, uh, home price index of around 7%, I believe. So it's a material decline. I see that's more of a kind of phases, short term, very near term, very little change, slow activity. And things are going to pick up a bit as the economy reopens. And that's going to be. Uh, a lot of variability across the country uh, and then later this year probably a bit more downward pressure on prices. This means that maybe P20 will stay as it is and I will not be surprised, I will not be surprised if down payment on insured go and insured will go to 10%. Well, sadly, I think that we've got to leave it there. So Benjamin, Derek, Robert, thank you very much for your time, your insights and thoughts, very informative. And uh, thank you very much to our audience for joining us today.